in a room with all the makings of a medals class. Justin Brevard loses himself in this sanctuary of steel. I'm a very hands-on person. I like to put my ideas down. Then cut them, shape them, and fuse them into a creation all his own. Man, I can't even remember how much stuff I've made in here. Funny, considering his latest project is unforgettable. When you're welding, a lot of times for teaching welding, you can just put two pieces of metal together. But what we were hoping for is to look at the ability to be able to solve a problem. Justin found it during active shooter training at Somerset High School. The, the main problem was all these, all these kids in a building who have nothing but a door to keep them safe. In his homeroom class, Justin and his classmates use this heavy table to barricade the door, which has a lock, but if an intruder somehow disabled it, the door was easily pushed open, even with the table. That's where I thought, you know what, this is something that I need to go after, and this is something that was kind of made for me to do. Justin put on his thinking cap. It started out with a few drawings. And got to work. Justin has a motor that just doesn't stop. It was kind of hard at first. But once I kind of got onto one part, then it was like, okay, that makes sense. It starts with two steel plates cut to a specific shape. Handles are welded to them. Then a rod and tube are welded on to connect the ends. Add a locking knob and voila, you have a device named Just In Case. This is the, the thing that can save thousands of lives if it's if it's used properly. Now, instead of reaching for a table or some other object to block the door, students and staff simply reach for the just-in-case device. All they need to do is slide it under the door, turn the knob and extend the jams out, lock the knob, and no matter how hard I push on the door, I can't get through. As the door is being pushed back, it also lifts up on this plate. And because the plates are locked into the door jams like a puzzle piece, they're able to withstand immense pressure. Once I made the prototype, I took it to every classroom and I asked teachers, you know, what do you think about it? What do you do you think that this is a good idea? I think it's a game changer. Principal Shannon Donnelly believes that so much, she encouraged Justin to pursue a patent on his invention, which he received. Then she helped him pitch the importance of the device to the school board, landing him his first sale. I wouldn't be pushing this hard for people to really take a look at this kind of a device if I didn't think that it, it, it had a major, you know, major piece in what we're doing in terms of safety and security. During his summer off, Justin built enough devices for every classroom and conference room in the high school. They're usually found right next to the door, or at least within arm's reach. I have mine sitting underneath my desk. Um, thankfully, I haven't had to use it at this point in anything other than a drill, but um, every staff knows exactly where these are located. And the young man who made it possible. The fact that we have a student within our district that was able to create something of this, uh, what I believe of this magnitude, I think is pretty special. The device retails for $95, but to this young welding enthusiast turned entrepreneur, the safety of students and staff is priceless. What kind of insurance are you going to get for a student's life? This is the insurance right here. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.